Good afternoon. Just speaking. Hi. Hello. Ter- Hi. This Hi. is Steve Dave. I'm a tenant here. Okay. Yes. How can I help you, sir? Well, I just wasn't sure if I was responsible for um, cleaning the carpet or if that was something you guys did there. No, you are responsible for cleaning your own carpet. All right. Okay. Carpet and the staircase? No, the the carpet, uh, mostly no. in, in my bedroom and in the hallway. Yes. You are responsible. Are you, are you just moved in or are you a new resident? Oh, no, I've been here for a while. I just My toilet's been broken for a couple months, so I've been peeing in the carpets. You've been peeing in the carpet? Yeah, urinating in the carpets because my toilet's broke. It won't flush anymore. Why didn't you get somebody to fix your toilet? Did you not send a click fix? Uh, oh, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I, I just, um, it's just more convenient just to... It's so your toilet is broken and you haven't had it fixed? No, it's been broken for about two months. But it's okay. I've just been peeing in the carpet. But the problem is it's starting to smell in here. So I thought maybe I should get him... No. So, no, no, one second. The carpet is your, your toilet. No, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Car- is, the car- is the toilet fixed now? Oh, no, the toilet's broken. That's why I pee, pee in the carpet. Oh my gosh! How could you do that? Well, okay. you know, but we at, can at have first, the toilet. We can have the to- We can have the toilet fix. That should be. Did you not know that you can call for service for that? You can call. Yeah, that's that's what like I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm calling for service oh. to get my carpets cleaned because they're starting to smell. Okay. No, we don't clean carpet. We we fix your toilet. Oh, can you replace the carpets? Can fix your toilet. We cannot replace the carpet. Oh, well, I mean, I'm running out of places. I'm running out of places to to go. Because, you know, I started in just one corner. But then I had to move to a different corner. And then I was just peeing in the middle. And then I had to pee in the hallway carpet. And I'm getting Uh close to the living room. And, you know. Why would you do something? What's your unit number, sir? Uh, F-208. F? Yep, F. F like Sam. 208? Uh-huh. F as in Frank, 208? Yep. And now, so your toilet is broken. So you want me to send somebody there to fix your toilet now? I can send him sen- right now. Well, I guess, but no, so actually, ma- mainly I just wanted someone to clean the carpets. Or, or do you guys have a shampooer? I could just shampoo the carpet myself if you have a machine. We don't have a shampooer. We oh. don't have a shampooer. Balls. Okay. No. It's okay. But I, we I, have to fix your toilet because we don't want you to be inconvenienced by the toilet. Oh, it's not an inconvenience. Actually, it's very convenient because I can just kind of stand up and go whenever I want. That's not good, sir. That's not a good... No, I, <laughs> I actually, it's kind of fair. awesome. It's awesome. Like, Sorry? Like, you know, I do a lot of gaming, like, um, and, and I can just kind of whip it out and, and, and pee while I'm gaming. No, that's, that's, not, awesome. that's, not, that's not hygienic. You have to go to the toilet to pee. Well, that's you why I was one... To- pee in the floor. That's why I was one to get my, my carpet shampooed, is, is so it would be more no, hygienic. No, then you have to do... You can call your... You can call a cleaning... Cup. You can call Sears to clean your carpet. How much does that cost? I'm not sure how much that would cost. Can not you, much, maybe a hundred dollars. Oh, can you check real quick? I'll hold. No, no, not me. You, you, you make that arrangement. Well, you can just call and check. No, no, sir, that's not my responsibility. I'm very can, sorry. I can't do that. It's okay. I can, can I, have your toilet fixed. Can I? That's the, my responsibility. Oh. I make sure that your toilet is fixed. Okay, fine. Do you fine. want me to send my guy now to have your toilet fixed? I guess, but I mean, I've kind of grown accustomed to peeing in the carpets. Also, I'm going to need I'm the number sorry, to... You s- cannot, uh, that's not... That's, you shouldn't be doing that, sir. Can, I'm very sorry. You can't be peeing in your toilet, in your carpet. Can I get the number to Sears real that quick? Is not, sorry? Can I get the number to Sears real quick? I don't have a, a number. Oh, okay. All right. Sears, no. Yeah. It's really. <sighs> okay. All right. So I'll send somebody to fix your toilet, okay? Okay. And um, can you have them bring All a right. bottle of carpet shampoo? Oh, my God. Your house will be smelling so bad. It's not that bad. Oh, my God. It doesn't bother me. It's fine. It's okay. It's not a problem. <sighs> okay. All right. So, I'll have somebody fix your toilet, sir. F208, right? Yes. Okay. I'll send him right now. Thank oh, you. Oh, right now? Oh, that'll be great. Well, can you can right you give now. me, like, 10 minutes? I have to put the, the all the mess away and all the drugs. And, okay. And the laboratory. All right. And the experiments. Okay. All right. And okay. I, I have to clean up a little, you know. Two, two minutes? Okay. Yeah, two okay, minutes. Two I, I got to get dressed and stuff, okay. you know. Maybe three. Three minutes. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye, honey. Bye.
What the fuck is this? R E E F E R. We be touching tones, calling phones. We rip from Craigslist, systematic prank machine. It's never been better than this. Feeling fine, dial your line. You don't know what the facts is. Running strong for 20 years, cactus. Cactus. This ain't a game, playing on these phones Roy gets a little boner every time he hears the dial tone Just like when I see there's a brand new upload We eat, sleep and listen to the snowplow show My name is Sensei Doug, I happen to know Tai Chi See you giving snake eyes and we're gonna have a disagreement Call you morning, night or evening If we hack your voicemail, we call it an achievement If you laugh Try your best to conceal it When the number's disconnected We know it's a bereavement This person is dead. Shit Please hang up and give a moment of silence Message PLA PLA Cactus Old man story mode. Hi, my name is Rory. I'm calling from the corporate office. Sorry that you're busy, but the problem we got is the server's gone wrong. Your sales don't exist. We're gonna need you to go out back. Am I supposed to be doing this? Yes, find the breaker box. One by one, we need them switches all flicked off. It's normal if the lights go out in and around the shop. Keep on flicking switches till the phone cuts off. Plunge into darkness, we are the master artists The tools are starting, the funny part is they can hear us laughing But still make sure they power down every switch in this base Cause a mass confusion for every single department PLA making every mark open the fuse compartment Boy, you got some balls, mister Oh no! No, I can't do that, sir, sorry <laughs> oh, No, it's okay, I'm calling from the corporate office Snowplow show Hello, everybody. You are listening to the Snowplow Show for May 4th, 2018. May the 4th be with you. (laughs) Oh, I love when people say that all day on Facebook. Today's show is sponsored by Six Week Tenure. Thank you, Six Week Tenure, for being a supporter on the Patreon. Patreon.com slash phone losers. Six Week Tenure has had access to the content in this show for the past two days. Because this is a live show that I think happened a couple days ago. That sounds right. I think it was on Wednesday. It's another one of those Will It Flush shows. By the way, thank you, Nick Caesar, for today's show art. He did the Will It Flush to Electric Boogaloo artwork. I guess he was listening live when I did this one. I was going to have this show posted yesterday, but fucking Giad, he sends me a message and he's like, hey Brad, you know that show you've been talking about doing? Having me on and doing call-ins and stuff? Let's do that today in approximately three hours. So instead of putting the show together yesterday, I spent three hours preparing for the new show. And if you haven't heard it, it is up on the website. It's up on phonelosers.com, phonelosers.org, whatever you want to call it. Episode 1 of the, I don't know, Phone Losers of America show, the PLA show, the PLA all day show. So yeah, we did a show on the Facebooks. I put it up on YouTube last night where we basically just hung out for an hour and took calls and we talked to Giad and people asked Giad questions and me questions and we reminisced about high school like a couple of old men. It was kind of fun. And MC Lars, you guys, he sent me this song like two weeks ago about PLA. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to make that today's ending song. But I turned that into the intro song for the new show. If it even lasts as a new show. I, I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing them. I think I'm going to keep doing them. You know me. I might start up a show and just quit after two or three episodes. But MC Lars sent in a song called PLA All Day. Apparently he really loves the Phone Losers. Which is kind of awesome because I've been playing his music on various shows that I've done for the past, I don't know, nine or ten years now. I think I'm going to play that as the ending music today, though, the new MC Lars song. So if you didn't hear the show that me and Gia did yesterday, be excited for the end of this show because you get to hear the premiere of the new MC Lars song called PLA All Day. Thanks, MC Lars. Before we get started with today's live show, I have just a couple of things. Of course, it has to do with coins. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about coins at this point. But uh, you Kickstarter people, like everyone's filled out their questionnaire except for like eight or nine people. I don't know why, like you don't want your coins or something, but you have not filled out your questionnaires. When the Kickstarter ended over a month ago, 
I sent out questionnaires through Kickstarter. Look in your spam folders. Maybe you didn't get it, but it's a questionnaire that asks for your address and asks for the metal type you want on your coins. And if you don't fill that out, I can't send you a coin. It's just eight or nine people at this point. Please, you know, go look on your Kickstarters. Make sure you filled that out. And if you don't want a coin, then thanks, I guess. More coins for the rest of us. And I have finally received the PLA coins. They are fucking amazing. They look perfect. They're everything I've wanted in a coin since 2014, but never had because I didn't have Don Fickles holding my hand through the entire process and showing me what to ask for and, you know, just things to get on the coins. They look perfect. They are designed by Don Fickles. I got them in silver, gold, brass, and copper. They look completely amazing. If you want to see them, go look on the Kickstarter page or go look on, I don't know, my Facebook page. I posted a video of them and some pictures of them. If you look at the video of the show me and Gia did yesterday, I had a picture of one of the coins on most of the show. I just put it on there as a joke because I thought it looked funny. And Gia's like, oh, hey, Brad, that looks really professional. You should use that all the time. So the one thing I'm waiting for is lapel pins. As soon as I get the lapel pins, which I have a tracking number for, they are supposed to be here by at least Monday morning or, you know, sometime on Monday. So if all goes well, I should be mailing packages out on Tuesday of everyone's coins, lapel pins, stickers, and all the other crap from the Kickstarter. And if you're a Patreon, here's how I did it. If you have donated at least $100 throughout all the years of being on Patreon, then you are getting a coin no matter what your level is. So if you're at the $5 level and you've given at least 100 bucks over the years, then you get a coin. It's on the way. Uh, a few of you, I had to ask what your address was on Patreon, and some people have not answered. So if you're one of those people, you might want to check your Patreon messages. For everyone else on Patreon, I will set up something where you can uh, pay a discounted amount on the coins. And I should have a few Snowplow Show coins left over for you people on Patreon if you want to order those at a discount. I haven't done that yet. I want to get all the coins mailed out before I start messing with that stuff. I need to see how much I have left at the end because I don't think it's going to be a lot. But that's all the news on the coins. Everyone's going to have coins soon. Oh, and if you missed that on the Kickstarter, be sure to go to phonelizers.org slash coins. You can order them there and I will get them shipped out as soon as I get all the Kickstarter stuff shipped out. One more thing before we get started. I was looking through some old emails and I found this email from Not Brad. And you know how you guys are sending me butt slammed clips? Like, there's this one. You've just been butt, 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 butt slammed. On the turbo and the butt. And then there's this one. Butt, butt, butt slammed. And those were sent to me recently. Well, Not Brad has both of you topped because he sent me an email back in 2016 and somehow I never saw it. It's just been sitting in there. And he sent me a butt slammed clip like, you know, over two years ago. <laughs> hey, Lamo, you just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show on 100.9 The Gerbil. Don't let it get you down. It just goes on is what and we on. Do best. And to on. hear your call and to hear yourself get totally slammed. Tune in every weekday morning at 8.30 and 10.30 to hear the daily butt slam. After this pre-recorded message, you'll be transferred to one of our jockeys who will <laughs> get your permission to air through all your this. slam. If we don't get your permission, we'll air it anyway. Because we're totally wacky. Tune in every weekday. Oh my God, just stop. Oh, okay, there he stopped. Well, that's pretty awesome. Not Brad, thanks for sending that in two years and four months ago. I'm definitely going to have to try that one out soon. And if they stay on the line the whole time, I can just be like, Hey, this is Carol. I'm the producer here at the Skippy and Dippy Show. Please give me your permission to air that prank. It'll be great. Thanks, not Brad. Hey, kids, put down those Judaism sticks. Daddy's here to provide treats. Are you tired of receiving tainted treats? Sick of being force-fed expired sauce? Well, it's time to take the ooh out of Jewish. Call Big Daddy Treat Pile and place an order of pure unfiltered treat delivery today. But don't hold back. Deals this good won't last forever. Be the freshest fruitcake at synagogue. With Big Daddy's fresh and never tainted treats. Treat yourself today and we'll throw in bonus sauce pile at no extra cost. Don't hold back. Call now.
So today we're doing the will it flush thing again, just like I did on the last show that was pre-recorded. Um, Hostola said he's got to go to work. He's got to go to sleep so he can go to work in the morning. He's he's in the e- in the EU. But come on, Hostolas, don't don't go to sleep. Just go to work sleep deprived. It's okay. T- take a bunch of drugs in the morning. You'll be fine. Take take like ten things of those five hour energies. You'll be you'll be fine. It'll be good as new once you do that. But yeah, we uh, today we are going to do the will it flush thing, but. Um, we're only telling them it's for the YouTube video. Like that that's the only reason. There's been a lot of awesome suggestions suggestions in the chat room I really want to do, but fuck that shit. I just want to tell everyone I have a YouTube video. Yay, Hostola's got some myth. He's gonna stay up all night, listen to this show. Thanks, Hostolas. It means a lot. Um oh yeah, I forgot to make sure that the phone was working. Let's make sure that works. I don't really have a good um, apartment list here, but I've got Google Maps up, and I've got this list from, oh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Frank. Frank sent me a list of uh, college people, college apartments. Those apartment managers, they're probably used to college shenanigans, but we got a good response from one on the last show, so maybe these will be awesome. Your call will be recorded for quality assurance no, purposes. I don't give you permission. Thank you for calling Flats. This is Morgan speaking. Hey, Morgan. It's uh, Roy. I'm a tenant here. Yeah, what can I do for you? I just have a uh, an issue with my toilet. Okay. Uh, what's your room number? 406. Okay, and then is it A or B? Do you know? B. Okay, um, is it just clogged? No, well, I've been flushing um, Pepsi cans down the toilet. You've been flushing Pepsi cans down the toilet? Yeah, it's for a YouTube channel. I run a YouTube channel called Will It Flush? And I just flush, um, you know, different weird things down the toilet, and I think I took it too far this time. I crush them first, so it's okay. And most of them went down. Okay. It's just, you know, so they after a while, they started not going down like they're supposed to. Okay, and then what's your last name? Zerbel. Okay, um, I can put a work order in for you. And then you said you're in 406? Yep, yep, B. Okay, but is this um, normal I will put a work that, order that, that toilets then. can't even flush basic things? Because it's worked fine up until now, but just all of a sudden it has an issue with crushed Pepsi cans. Okay, well, I will put a work order in for you, and they should be up to fix it. Is there anyone else there, like in charge, that I could talk to that will answer my questions about toilets? Um, no, they... um. Our maintenance team is not currently in the office. Oh, what about like a manager type person that's that's like emotionally invested in the property? Um, they're also not in as well. Ah, what about that lady in the background talking? She sounds uppity. Um, yeah, I apologize. Um, I can put a work order in for you. Um, but past that, I can have somebody call you back. What about the uppity lady in the background? What about a man? Is there a man there? Uh, can I put you on hold for just one second? Yes, please. She'll be on the right. She's not getting upset, please you guys. Continue to hold. This is bullshit. We'll be with you right away. Yeah, I didn't know what else to say, so I just said Pepsi cans. Uh, I've got a few ideas here, like um, several people. Hello? Hi, what seems to be your problem? Oh, is this a different person or is this the same person? Different, different. Okay, who's this? This is Roy. This is Jenny. What's what's up? Hey, Jenny. Um, I flushed Pepsi cans down my toilet. Why? And it's for a YouTube channel. Okay. I, I flush. It's called Will It Flush. If you look at it on YouTube, it's like a really popular channel. And I flush mm-hmm. different things down the toilet every day. And the Pepsi okay. cans, I think I went too far. 
Okay. What unit are you in? 402B. Okay. Um, so is your toilet flooding? Did it not flush? Like, can you just take the Pepsi can out of the toilet? Oh, no, it's a bunch of Pepsi cans. It's like 30 Pepsi cans. Like, I started no out... you get 30 Pepsi cans in a toilet bowl. No, I crushed them first. You know, I crushed them. I'm not stupid. <laughs> but, like, when I, Sorry. like... See, yeah, there, it's going all over the floor. Like, every time I flush it, it just goes all over the floor. Okay, well, don't flush it again. Um, try and fish out as many as you can, and we'll, say, we'll send maintenance out. Well, no, I'm still filming. No, I mean, it's I'm sorry, but maintenance is going to come up because you're going to cause damage to our building. No, it's not damage. It's, like, I think the toilet's just not a good enough toilet. Like, I need a better toilet. I, we can't do a better toilet. Yeah, this time even more water is going on the floor. You're going to need to get towels, then. Towels? Towels. I'm not going to get toilet water all over my towels. Well, then you're just going to have to sit in toilet water, then, until maintenance can fix it. I'm not sitting in it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an idiot. I, it's just... You know? Yeah. I don't know why you're trying to ruin well, my career. I'm really not. I just, uh, I just don't want their. T I don't want the toilet to break. All right, you're you're like. Their expensive okay, toilets. is there a man there? Just get a man. No, there's not. It's all women. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Yeah. I got better things to Alrighty. do than this. You're wasting my time. Alrighty. Okay. It's a waste Alrighty. of time. Okie dokie. You're a waste of my time. You're a time yeah. waster. Oh wow. Find something better to do. This okay. is bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, wow. I'm going to flush it again just because just I'm angry with okay. you. <laughs> okay. There, all over the floor. What do you think? All How over do you like the floor. That? Oh, not my apartment. Yeah, it, well, it's not mine either. I don't own this place. I'm a renter. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Flush you know? it again. Flush it again. Yeah, flush yeah. it again. Yeah. All right, bye. That that did not go well, you guys. <laughs> I give up on her. Someone in the chat room said Pop Rocks. I could flush Pop rock, Rocks down the toilet. Oh, a Canadian penny collection, Kevin says. So let's, let's try this instead. I've got a, a bunch of apartment complexes pulled up here on Google Maps. We'll see how this goes. I regret jumping wants me to say I'm, I'm flushing my GoPro camera <laughs> down the toilet how would that work <laughs> let's try that on this one <laughs> elky wants me to say i'm flushing termites down the toilet or bed bugs good afternoon apartments this is sheila how may i help you hey sheila uh it's roy i'm a tenant here and what apartment um uh, well it's just a general question Okay. Uh, I was just um, flushing. Uh, I, I flushed a GoPro camera down the toilet, and now the toilet's clogged up. I can't get it to, like, it seems like the water just keeps building up and building up in it, and it just overflows all over the floor and out into the hall onto the carpet. What? Like, like here, look, when I hit the flush. Don't, I mean, if it keeps doing that, don't. See, like is the water going, overflowing now? Yeah, every time, every time I hit the flush, it, it goes okay. All well, over yeah, that's not supposed to be in there, and it's it's causing a jam. What apartment are you in? I was doing it for a YouTube channel. I was gonna like film, you know, what it looks like going down the toilet, you know, through the drain and everything, and find out where where the drains go. Yes. Okay. What but unit? <laughs> when I when I hit the flush, all over the floor. Look, there it goes, like all over. Okay. What apartment are you in? I'm in 16B, but I don't really want anyone to come over right now because I'm filming for my YouTube channel. Okay, well, I need to. I need you to stop flushing the channel. The channel? Or stop flushing the channel. I need you to stop flushing the toilet and causing what could be an issue for YouTube. Well, it's just a little You're bit of water. You're in 16B? Yeah, it's just a little bit of water, though. It's not a big deal. It's just, it's just going all over the floor and out on the, onto the carpet. 
Okay, this is a, a hoax. What's a hoax? <laughs> Correct. What are you talking about? Is this a joke? No, I wouldn't joke about something like this. I'm just trying to figure out how to, like, how to deal with this. Like, I, I don't know how to get I'm it out. I'm going to maintenance up to 16B immediately. I tried putting my hand in there, and I think it's gone up, like, through it a little bit. Like, I don't know how far down it's gone. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll have maintenance come up. I hooked up a string to it, and I was going to pull it back out. After, okay. after it well, filmed. I would if I were you. Yeah, but no, it's, it's I, like I mean, wedged. if you can, I'd, I'd pull it out. It's wedged in there or something. But, like, I flush different things down the toilet every day for my YouTube channel. Okay. Like I, I did pop I'll rocks. I'll somebody there. I did, Thank you. I did pop rocks on Sunday. She hung up. <laughs> she, she was sure, like, not wanting me to flush things, though. <sighs> All right. Thanks, I regret jumping. Five quarts of used motor oil. Grow me, help you. Hi, uh, I'm a tenant here, and I'm having a problem with the toilet. Who is this? Uh, this is Roy, and like, look, every time I flush, like I'm doing it right now, it goes all over the floor, like, and it goes all, all over the floor and out into the carpet in the hallway. <laughs> Okay. So do, do you know what apartment? I'm in 34. No, you're not. What do you mean? You don't live in apartment 34. Here, flush it again. <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you want me to flush it again? Why do you think I don't live here? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Uh, I'm so confused. Who is this? Can you stop laughing at me? <laughs> Who is this? I'm sensitive, and I have social I anxiety know, as it is, and you're laughing at me. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to hear about social anxiety. But why are you saying <gasps> I, I don't live in 34? Because I know who lives in 34, and it's in you. It's Joyce, right? No. Well, Joyce is my roommate. The other people live here, too. She doesn't have a roommate. Well, we're just not on the lease. Really? We're not on the computer. Yeah, who who is this, really? This is Roy. Roy who? Yep. Joyce's roommate. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. You've been very helpful. Thanks for the help, Lee. <laughs> you don't have a hallway. Quit it. I don't have a hallway? What do you mean I don't have a hallway? <clears throat> kind of hobo places. Do I need to send? Do I need to send Jacob over? Yeah, hurry up, hurry the fuck up, get him over here now, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> she didn't like the cursing. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe I should look up um, some of of Apocalypse's old lists. And, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll use those again. They've forgotten me by now. I'll get an apocalypse list from like two years ago of apartments. That's what I'll do. Departments, how can I help you? Hey there. Um, I am a tenant here and I have a question about the toilet. Okay. What apartment are you in? Um, well, can do, do, uh, I'm, I'm not really looking for a maintenance or anything. Do you, do you really need my apartment number? Um, I mean, you can ask me the question, I guess. Okay, well, I flushed a bunch of Pop Rocks down the toilet. It's for my... What is that noise? It was just something here in our office. Your phone? It was um, our time clock. What, what, what does it mean when it does that? Like, did somebody clock it's just in? just because... It, no, it's a certain time. It does it every hour. Oh, I see. That's annoying. I'd turn that off. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, anyway, so yeah, you, I flushed... Um, okay. um, Approximately, like so far, I've flushed about seven gallons of pop rocks down the toilet. Okay. And it was working fine, but like this last gallon has, like when I flush it, like I'll do it here, like. Yeah, it just goes all over the floor, and some of the pop rocks come out of the toilet with it and just go all over the floor. Okay, well, I mean. <laughs> Pop Rocks probably shouldn't go in the toilet. They probably should go in the trash. Yeah, but it's for my YouTube channel. It's called Will It Flush. 
And I, I flushed like a different thing down the toilet every day. And um, I was doing Pop Rocks today. I got 20 gallons of Pop Rocks from a okay, wholesaler. Okay, so I mean, I guess what is your question? Um, is there like a specialized plunger that you guys have or like a vacuum? I mean, we just have normal plungers. If it's not flushing, I mean, the maintenance man would come look at it. We'd go from there as to if we need to call a plumber. Do you have like a wet dry vac? Like, could I just suck them out of the thing? I mean, anything that we would bring you would require maintenance to come and take care of. Because I could just suck them out and then pour the rest of them in and just, like, I think it just, they, like, maybe there's a clump of them or something. Right. Um, like I said, anything that we bring you or do, it would require maintenance to come in. Okay. So. I'll just keep flushing, I guess. Like. Okay. I, I think eventually, um, it's just every time I flush, the water goes on the floor. Like, right, I mean, because a toilet isn't made to flush things that aren't supposed to get on the floor. Yeah, there it goes, on the floor. And it's like coming out in the, in the hallway on the carpet and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably something lodged in there. Um, and I will go ahead and say, the more you flush it, the more water goes out there. Uh, I know. Get the carpet's going to get ruined, and that's going to end up falling back on you. Now, I don't think it'll get ruined because it's mostly just regular water. It's not like it's gross toilet water. It's just water. Right, I understand that. But, but the more the carpet gets wet and it doesn't get completely cleaned and dry, it will cause mold. It will cause different things, mm -hmm. um, you know. So I would just advise not to be flushing. I mean, if you have a YouTube channel and that's what you do is flush stuff, you probably need to pick a different toilet because, you know, we don't. Well, this is where that I live. That could do so. some major damage. I don't think so. Like, usually things go just fine. Like, yesterday I was fleshy marbles. Like, just a bunch of marbles, and those went down fine. But okay, well, uh, I mean... Maybe it's, like, leftover from yesterday, from the marbles. You know, it could be, so... Maybe the marbles got wedged I mean, in there with the I mean, there's not much I can do. I mean, you're not going to give me your name or your apartment number, so we can keep an eye and let your... You well, know, keep an eye on your neighbors. I'm, I'm in so. two, 2B, okay, but... So, so like that's upstairs. Okay, yeah, you're in the middle mm -hmm. level. I mean, it. I feel like it, I feel like if I keep flushing, it's it's gonna like, it's probably going downstairs. Like you know, seeping exactly, through the walls. Exactly, and that's like, what my worry is. You know, we have. Cause yeah, it keeps coming over every time. We have seventeen goes, buildings, so two B really doesn't. <laughs> you, I mean, it goes over the edge. Like the water comes right. out. And, yeah, so I would definitely recommend not flushing it and trying to plunge it out. You said I, I shouldn't try to plunge it out? Because I have the plunger sitting there. I said I would recommend you not flushing it, and you probably should try to plunge out whatever clog is before it ends up downstairs. And, you know, like I said, if it ruins carpet, you know, that's going to fall back on you. Also, well, if it does any damage to any other apartments, that's going to fall back on you also. I am plunging it, though. Like, I have the plunger sitting in there on top of the Pop Rocks. Okay. And then I just, I have it sitting up there, and then I hit the flush. And it, do, it still doesn't work. It just keeps coming over the edge. Onto the floor. Right, because there's probably a clog. You know, pop rocks don't don't really dissolve that fast. So. So you think I should just wait, like just keep waiting I mean, until they dissolve? The only like, thing I could advise is to have maintenance come look at it, and it doesn't sound like you want to do that. So the other thing I could advise is to stop flushing stuff down your toilet. Okay. Well, no, I'm, I I got to keep doing it for the YouTube channel. Like I, mean, on, I I guess if you want to do that, the only thing I can say is. If something happens, I mean, you're going to be responsible for it. On Sunday, I'm going to be doing, like, um, Barbie heads. Like, Barbie doll heads. I'm going to be flushing those down the toilet. But that's okay, if I can get well. the Pop Rocks to, to go down. Like, I think they just need to sit in there for a while and get, you know, all smooshed up. I mean, I guess that's whatever you choose to do. But without any more information, I mean, there's nothing more I can tell you or do for you. So, well, I told you I'm in 2B. Right, and I told you that we have multiple buildings out here. Right. So 2B means nothing to me. Well, if you look on YouTube, like, will it flush, you'll see who I am. Okay, it's a famous I mean, channel at this point. But I, I don't know which building this would be. Like, I, I just drive up here. You don't know your address? Well, I use a P.O. box. I use P.O. box 465. Okay, I mean... It, it, in your lease, Smart it says ass. your address. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know where my lease is. Okay, well, and you don't want to give me your name, so. No, I already told I you I'm Roy. I said, like, the first 
thing I said when I called in is this is Roy. You did not tell me your name. Yeah, I did. I have a so, recording. I I'm do not believe we call. have anybody by the name of Roy well, on Elise here. I wouldn't be in the computer. I'm, I have a roommate. Okay, so what's your roommate's name? But you know, I, I'm I'm recording this call, and I'm sure that I said I'm Roy. Okay, so what's your roommate's name? Micah. Okay, we. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and hang up now because there's nothing more I can do for well, you. Hold okay. On. Like I'm gonna flush. Okay. Goodbye. Ah. <laughs> uh, I, I stole Micah's name from the chat room. Sorry, Micah. Hey, while I was talking to her, I was looking at the tracking number on the PLA coins. Like, they were supposed to be here on Friday, and then that got upgraded to Thursday, tomorrow. And today, it got upgraded to today. It's the weirdest thing. It's going backwards. Like, they're, they, they just left Portland, Oregon. So PLA coins today, guys. I may get them before the show ends. That'll be crazy. Holy shit. And congratulations, by the way, Don Fickles, his uh, coin Kickstarter ended successfully. He got 300 more than his goal, so he's going to be doing some other things, I think, or throwing in extras or whatever. It's an exciting day for coins, is what I'm trying to say. For me, anyway. Justin, I wouldn't flush my favorite socks even for a YouTube channel. That'd be stupid. Who would do that? Nobody flushes their favorite socks. Except for an idiot. I'm not going to flush my socks. Durr. Someone in the chat room said to, uh... Say that, that I left the Pop Rocks in the packages. Because that would, that would make sense, you know? Who's, who's going to take all those Pop Rocks out of all the packages? That'd be stupid. Termites and ticks and bed bugs. Fortune cookies. What a great idea, Daltron. Let's do fortune cookies. Here's Rachel. How may I help you? Hi. Uh, I am a tenant here, and I have a question about my toilet. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Roy. Okay. And, like, I've been flushing, um, like, a bunch of fortune cookies down the toilet. Why? Uh, it's for a YouTube channel. I, I do a YouTube channel where I flush, like, a different weird thing down the toilet every day. Like, I've done marbles, I've done pop rocks, I've done Canadian pennies. Okay, what uh, apartment do you live in? Uh, uh, two, two ten. Okay, you, you know you're going to be charged for damages, right? Well, no, I think it's fine. I just, I, like, if you guys have, like, a specialized plunger or a wet vac where I could suck things back through. No, you're going to be charged for damages. You can't do that. I didn't damage anything. It's just the toilet's just clogged. It's like a normal apartment thing. Okay, but you can't do that. No, it's for my YouTube channel. I do this every day. I've been doing this for a long time. Okay, you cannot I, do that. Well, I do do it. I'm not going to stop. I, it's for my YouTube channel. This is how I make a living. Okay, well, then I will be lease, putting lease violations on you then. Well, I'm not even doing anything. I just, I, I flushed, I have like 600 fortune cookies here, and I'm flushing them all down the toilet. It's for today's channel, today's video. Yeah, you can't do that. But I can't stop because I'm halfway through. Okay, you can't do that. Why do you keep saying that? I, th This is what I do. But, like, I don't know. They must have, I guess a couple of them got wedged in there in there together because, like, when I hit the flesh, yeah, the water just goes over, over the edge and goes all over the floor and comes out into okay, the, what's into the your, hallway. Okay, which apartment are you in? 210. Okay, which one? 210. Which one? 210. We have three 210s. The second one. We have three 210s. Which one are you in? Number two. Um, doesn't work like that. Okay. So is this a prank call then? No, it's not a prank. I'm just wanting to know if you have like a specialized plunger. Okay, I need to know what apartment you're in to bring it to. You need to stop being grouchy. You know, you work for me. I don't I, work for you. Y yes, you do. You're supposed to be customer service. You're supposed to, you know, make the tenants happy and, and do things we need you to do. And you need to okay, drop, you, drop the attitude. I need to know where you live. Drop the attitude and ask me nicely. I need to know where you live. 
see, you're still not doing it. You've you got that, that bitchy tone in your voice. Uh, excuse me? You don't need to cuss at me. Well, you're basically cu- cussing at me with your attitude. I've never, I have actually have another resident right here, and she um, is hearing everything. No, I so mean, you're, you're cussing with your attitude. That's what I'm saying. I never cussed at you. With your attitude, um, you did, like multiple times. Uh, anyways, where do you live? 210. The, okay, sec- the second one. You mean the huh? letter, like the building letter? Is that what you want? No, the building number. I don't know. I just know I live in apartment 210. Like, How I, do I'm, you not know what building you live in? Because I get my mail at a P.O. box, and I pay my rent to Carol. She's my roommate. Carol? Yeah. There's nobody who lives in any of my apartments in 210 named Carol. That's what she told me her name was. That was what was on her dating profile. Okay, this is a prank. Okay. Not a prank. Obviously, it's a prank. Because you, you don't th- know where you live. Well, and if you, you say that you're flushing stuff down the toilet. If you think it's a prank, why do you still have an attitude? Why don't you just, you know, be happy about it? Like, just Because this isn't funny. This is my job, and I need to help residents who truly need help. Not well, you're not doing uh, waste a very my good time with people who are... Um, you know, wasting my time. Carol told me that you would deny knowing her, too. Okay. I think you have a problem, sir, so... You have a problem. You're, you're the one that keeps cursing at me. I never curse at you. I have. I literally have a resident in my office right now. Let me talk to her. I, you cannot talk to another resident. Why not? Because that's inappropriate. No, it's not. I'm not going to say anything inappropriate. You're the one that's being inappropriate. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye since I clearly, you clearly do not live here, sir. I'm going to flush your attitude down the toilet. Okay, that's fine. Can you put a man on the phone? No. Why not? Because there isn't a man here. Clearly. Okay. I got you there, didn't I? No. It's true, I didn't. I'm sorry I prank called you. I was just trying to brighten up your day because you're always so grouchy here. Who is this? I'm I'm a tenant. I just, you know, I like I don't want to tell you who I am. And you would think by prank calling me that would brighten up my day and you say that I'm always grouchy here? Well, I thought it would make you ungrouchy. I thought you'd appreciate it. Um, No. Okay. And if you truly are a tenant here and I find out who you are, you will be getting in severe trouble. Well, I won't tell you who I am then. Well, like I, I think I actually do know who this is. Who? So. Who do you think it is? And I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. No, you won't, but you live in building 3302. I have to go. Yep, thank you. <laughs> crap, crap, crap. Somebody's getting evicted. <laughs> All right, let me try a new city. People are really mellow in that city. I gotta change my area code. Nunu wants me to flush three gallons of tadpoles down the toilet. I will save that one, Nunu. I forgot, I need to do um, ticks and bed bugs and all that stuff. And I still want to do fortune cookies again. Thanks, Daltron, for that idea. Hi, this is Jenny. How can I help you? Hey, Jenny. Uh, I'm a tenant here, and I have a problem with my toilet. Okay, what's going on? Um, it's just, um, I don't know how to explain this. I do like a YouTube channel called okay. Will, it, Will It Flush, and I flush different things down the toilet every day. Okay. So, like, I flushed Canadian pennies down the toilet. I flushed Pop Rocks still in their package. You have? Yeah, yeah, here at the apartments. It's just for YouTube. What, what, what apartment are you? Like, I, I film it, and I put it on YouTube, and usually it's not a problem. What apartment um, are you? 810. Okay, just one second. Okay. All the fortunes say help. I'm, I'm, I'm child labor, locked in a factory. Your name? Uh, this is Roy. Okay, and who's... And you live in 810? Yep. And Jessica, Why right? are you flushing stuff down the toilet? Well, I told you it's for my YouTube channel. It's a channel called Will It Flush, and every single day okay. I do, like, a different thing. Like, I flush okay. down fortune cookies. What? Hello? 
Hello? Ma'am? 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 Hello? I don't know what happened. I flushed Easter eggs. This is Tammy. Can I help you? Oh, hey, Tammy. I don't know what happened. Like, she, she just left the line, and now you're here. Right. I'm the property manager. Oh. Um, I guess I have a question. Why are you flushing things down our toilet? Okay. I've already explained this to the other lady twice. It's, you have it's, to explain it to me. Okay. Settle down. Jeez. I, I run a YouTube channel called Will, uh -huh. it, called Will It Flush. Okay. And every day I flush like a different weird thing down the toilet. It's, <laughs> it's like my gimmick. Okay. And why do you do that, though? I mean, other than the YouTube channel, yeah, why would you for, for do the that? Views, for the views, I flushed... Because that would cause damage. I flushed um, Pop Rocks. I flushed Fortune Cookies. Okay. Um, so you know, what's marbles. wrong with your toilet? <laughs> well, it's clogged up today. Okay. So you need our maintenance crew? Yeah, but I didn't even flush anything that bad down today. So it could be something in there that's left over from a previous mm -hmm. day because I've been doing this for a long time. Okay, how long have you been doing it? Because you're going to be responsible for this. Well, I don't think so. It's just a clock. Yes, toilet. you will. That's all sir. it is. Um, but then again, let me get maintenance up there to you, do, okay? Do you, do what you, is your name? Do you always charge everyone, like if their toilet clogs What up? is your like, name? This is Roy. Like, okay, Roy. Man, you're grouchy. Okay, Jeez. let me get maintenance up there for but you I, and let I me have even, them check it out. I haven't even told you what I flushed yet. No, I don't need to know. Uh, let me get a hold of them real quick. Because I can't have it damaging our pipes or no, anything. No, it's not okay? damaging anything. Look, so let no, me get them to your apartment. Ma'am, listen, it still works. Look, I'll, I'm going to flush it. <laughs> and when, I, when I do, it just goes all over the floor. It's just water. Oh, she hung up. She was so grouchy, but she wouldn't listen to me. She didn't want to hear about my bed bugs. What a jerk. <laughs> Fetus wanted me to ask if the maintenance man has been vaccinated. Thank you for calling the issue station. May I help you? Hi, uh, this is Roy. I'm a tenant here. Okay. And I have a question about my toilet. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, um, I don't know how to explain this. Like, I, I run a YouTube channel called Will It Flush? And every day I flush, like, a different weird thing down the toilet. Like, I, I've, I've flushed gumballs. I've flushed uh, fortune cookies, uh, motor oil. You know, just stuff like that. Uh-huh. And today, when I was doing my, my daily video, it's, it's, like, clogged up. Like, every time I hit the flush, the flush thing, the lever, it, like, here, when I... Let me try. Okay, what, what did you flush out today? Yeah, see, it just, it overflows. Like, they go all over the floor. Like, the water is all over okay. the floor. What did you flush today, Roy? Um, bed bugs. Bed bugs? Yeah, I ordered it from a uh, like a supply company. Like, it's a a bunch of bed bugs and ticks and stuff. Because I try to do things that people don't like. Because you know who like so it'd, it'd be like a, a good thing to flush down the toilet. Because like you know if you're doing something live, like a live insect or whatever, it's got to be one that people don't like. So I flushed bed bugs and ticks and termites. Okay. So, um, All right, what is your unit number? And it, it's fine. None of them have, have escaped or anything. They're going straight down the toilet. It's just that they're, like, I, I, I don't know why they would clog up the toilet because it's not like they're, they're like a hard material. It's, they're squishy. Okay. Um, what unit but, are you in? Like, so when I flush, I get, they go all over the floor. Like some of the okay, bugs. Well, well, put, um, don't flush a toilet until we can get over there. Okay. Well, um, I'm it continues to overflow. You, what yeah, unit number like, are you in? It keeps overflowing. Like the water goes all over the floor, it goes out into the hallway, gets in the carpet, and some of the bugs get out. Okay. What but what I unit are you in? I think they're mostly drowned. I'm in 106. Okay. What what building are you in? Oh, this again. <laughs> I don't know. How many buildings are there? Like I'm the like the the third one down when you drive in. Okay, what's your last name, Roy? How come I'm on speaker? I'm trying to look up your um, information. Um, oh. What apartment building are you in? I don't know. It's like the third one when you drive in when you first drive in. 
Okay, we have several entrances, Roy. I'm okay. trying to help you. If, if you can help me, tell me what building number you're in. What's your last the, name? The main entrance by the office. Like nearest to where you guys are. Okay, let me see. What's your last name, Roy? Zerbel, but I wouldn't be in the computer. I'm, I'm just a roommate here. I live with Scott. Scott who? Ams. I'm sorry, Scott who? Ams. Hold on. Yeah, they're just going all, all over the floor. Like I'm trying, okay, um, I'm trying to keep... If you can just, just stop from flushing the toilet, please, if it's overflowing until we get down there. Okay. That's the third time you flush it, so if it continues to keep overflowing, just stop from flushing. I'm trying to find... Okay, well, now I, I've got the plung, I've got the plunger sitting in there while I flush it, so I'm trying to plunge it out. Like I've just got, hold on, and it's still not working. Like even with the plunger in there, it just keeps overflowing all over the all over the floor. Okay, Roy, can you please stop from flushing the toilet because you're going to cause damage? No, it's not damage. That's how you get it to go down. You just keep flushing. Keep flushing. If it's over, if it's overflowing, it's it's not working properly. So we need to get maintenance over there and get that fixed. Because I've I've got like enough bed bugs in there, like it fills up the entire bowl. They're all all the way to the top, but they're drowning, so it's okay. You know, it's not like they're getting away. Okay, and you said you are with Scott. Yeah. Okay, and apartment one hundred six. Yep. I'm not finding a spot in a 106 I'm sorry, what? Okay. Is your roommate there, Roy? Uh, no, he's at work right now. Okay. And how did you spell Scott's last name? A-M-S. A-M... A-M-S. S as in Sam or S as in Frank? It's A as in R... M as in mnemonic, and then S as in C. So it's going all over the floor. Okay, why do you continue to keep flushing the toilet? Because I'm trying to get the bed bugs to go down. You have told me that there's water all over the floor, all over going into the hallway. Yeah, so I've asked you seven times to please stop flushing the toilet, and you continue to keep flushing the toilet. Can you please stop flushing the toilet until maintenance can come down there? What's it even matter? Because the, the water is already on the floor, so it's, it's not like it's getting picked up. Like, it's just a little bit more water. It's the same thing. Okay, I'm not finding, I'm not finding Scott here. So, when you drive in the main entrance and go past the office, where are you from there? Um, straight ahead, third one on the left. Third building, apartment 106. Okay, again, wh you, why do you continuously, you're continuously to keep flushing the toilet. I've asked you now nine times to please stop flushing the toilet. I don't know why you continue to keep doing that. Well, last time it was seven, I think. And now it's nine, so it's like you're exaggerating. Okay, is this is this a prank call? No, I wouldn't prank about this. I'm just. I I thought you get we're going to be helpful. I I don't even need maintenance to come over. I just like I thought you might have like a shop vac I could borrow, like a wet dry vac, and I could just suck them back through. Okay. Or a plunger. Um, is there a way? Can you just walk up to the office, and I can go back to the apartment with you? Because I don't know where you're referring to the third okay. building on the left. Well, I can't right now because I'm in the middle of filming a video for my YouTube channel, and I, I'm trying to just you know I, I've got to finish that up, and I still have like a bucket of bed bugs here that I'm still going to pour the rest of them down the toilet. But I'm just trying to get the clog to you know just to unclog. And that's why I have. Okay, what apartment community are you trying to get a hold of, uh, Roy? Uh, th this one. What is this one? What's the, the name the, of the community that you that you're staying at? The the apartments. Where at? Uh, on on sixth. 
What city are you in? Like, why do you think I don't live here? That's weird. I know where I live. Because you're not on the lease. I know. And I don't, like, I I don't have, find a spot. I have a roommate. We, ha we have several roommates here, so maybe he's not on the lease. Maybe it's actually Carol. I don't know. Who all lives in this apartment? There's like five of us right now. Okay, can you just come up to the office when you're done shooting your video and I can come down and see what the issue is? Well, some of these can be like an all-day thing, so it might be a while. And especially with this, this, you know, the, the clog in the toilet and you, you're not even helping me with it. Do you have a phone so. number for Scott? I can just reach out to him. Um, it, it's in my phone and I'm on my phone right now, so I can't really look it up. It'll probably disconnect you if I did that. Okay, what is your phone number? Um, I can, you can look it up and I'll call you back. It's on your caller ID. Just look on your caller ID. Okay. Um, is there a man there? You don't know what your phone number is? Is there a man there? Because you're being unreasonable. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Why? When you're done shooting your video, come to the office and I can walk back to your apartment okay. with well, you. Just or just have Scott call the office when he gets home. I'm going to keep flushing and just like, trying to please to go down. That's all I can do, really, you know? Just keep at it. And keep at it. Okay. Well, can can you pause your video and come up here? Because you're you're going to end up eventually cause damage by that you're going to be responsible no, for. No, it, it's not damage. It's just a, a little bit of water. It's, like, it's not going to hurt anything. And, and you it, have I, flushed a toilet multiple times, and you can t you have told me that water is going all over the floor. Hmm. So we have to get that water sucked up. Hmm. But, We're going mean, to have to do a water extraction with as many times as you flush the toilet if there's water in your hallway, sir. If, if they come in and do that, can I keep filming? Because I'm doing a live stream right now, and I have over 300 viewers. For, it's for my channel. Mm -hmm. And your channel is what? Uh, will it flush on YouTube? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, when you're done shooting your video... Like I said, can you um, hang up with me and call Scott and have Scott call the office? Yeah. So he can tell me where you live. It'll probably be later tonight. It'll probably be too late today. I'll have him call tomorrow. Okay, tell him to give me a call. All right, I guess. I don't know why you have to have such an attitude about the whole thing, though. I'm just, just asking I for help. I don't have an attitude at all, sir. I'm trying to help you. But unfortunately, until you can tell me exactly where you live and the address where you're at, I'm unable to help you. And there's no man there? Yes, we have men here. Can you put a man on the phone? No, I can't. There's nothing in the kitchen that I can't. Well, there's a few things. Ma'am? I think she was just sitting there listening. Probably trying to figure out if that was a sound effect or not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should call back as Scott, the chat room says. I should call back as Carol. Um, let's see. Should we take a break? It's been an hour and a half. I, I think I should quit the show soon. Ah, shoot messed up again. <laughs> Justin wants me to flush a box of drywall mud. Okay. This is Anna. How may I help you? Hey, Anna. I'm a tenant here, and I'm having a small problem with the toilet. Okay. What uh, unit are you in? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's like four, 40, uh, 43. Okay, uh, I can look you up by your name without knowing what unit you're in. I don't know where to send maintenance. There's not a 40, well, no, I don't necessarily need maintenance. I just, I run this YouTube channel called Will It Flush, and I've been flushing, you know, I flush like a different weird thing down the toilet every day, and today it's clogged up. And I'm not sure why, okay. because it's like a liquidy thing. It should just flush just fine. What was it? Uh, drywall mud. 
No, you cannot put that down your toilet. Well, no, I did. I flushed, like, I, I brought, like, uh, two five-gallon buckets of it, and I did one bucket, and then when I started on the second five-gallon bucket, that's when it it stopped, like, here when I flush it. Yeah, see, it keeps doing it. It keeps going all over the floor. Okay, well, stop flushing the toilet, and drywall mud will clog up the toilet, so I will have to charge you for maintenance to come over and unclog your toilet. Well, what it, is your name or just, what unit are you in so I just, can get him over it there? It should just go down, and I don't want to be charged. No, it and I was, shouldn't because you shouldn't be putting drywall mud down your toilet. It's like a liquidy material, though. Like it, it's, you know, it will harden up. Drywall mud hardens up, and it will not go down into a drain. It will get clogged in the drain. But I've been flushing for, like, you know, continuously, so, like, it, it keeps it wet, so it's not going to harden up. I understand up. that, it's but it will not go through the drain like it is supposed to. It's not meant to go down a toilet. Can okay. I get your name well, that, or that's, your unit so that, I can get maintenance over there? That's, that's the point of the channel. It, it's like it's weird things to put down the, the drain. I understand that, that, but that is damaging the property every time you flush it if it's flowing back into your unit so or onto the floor. Yeah, it's still overflowing. I just flushed it and it's still overflowing. Well, quit flushing it. Well, I'm trying to make it go down because I don't know why it won't go down. Like quit I've, flushing it. It's not going to go down. It needs to be augured. I've, what is your name? I've got the entire bowl. What is your name? It's Roy, but I've got the entire bowl filled up with drywall mud. So, like, when I flush it, it just it just kind of, like, the water all comes straight to the top. And it flows Roy over the, what? the sides. What, what unit are you in? Can you tell me anything other than your name is Roy? Yeah, I told you earlier, 43. There is no apartment 43 here. Was well, it 143? No. What are their unit numbers like? If you don't know your address, I can't assist you. And what is what is your full name so I can look is you it, up in my system? Is it D43? I wouldn't be in the computer. Why wouldn't you be in the computer? Because I'm a roommate. Carol's my roommate. Carol? Yeah. Carol what? That would be a who. Okay, Carol who? Yeah, H-U. I don't have a Carol in my system either. Okay, well, I don't know. There's like four people here. I have three other roommates. I don't have any units that have four people living in them. Well, no, we're just not in the computer. Then that is a violation of the lease. Are you on the lease? No, I wouldn't be on the lease. I, I'm, I'm like, that's why I have roommates, because I, I just, you know, have roommates. I don't then get that's them. a violation of the lease. No, it's, n no, because I'm not even on the lease. Yeah, it's a violation of the lease to have other people live in the unit for more than seven days in a month period. I actually flush. And I explain that to all of my tenants when they sign their lease. If if you look on YouTube under "Will it flush lease," like you'll see we flush the lease down the toilet. It was one of our videos. I'm going to hang out now. Why? <laughs> <laughs> The chat room kept saying to say that earlier. Tee -hee. <laughs> I finally did it. You're welcome for that. Sir Farts a lot wanted me to say, tell her you identify as a tenant. That's great. And <laughs> don't assume my, uh, oh God, what would I say? It's not gender. Never mind. That joke doesn't work. There was no apartment number when I looked at it on white pages. That's why I was stuck on the apartment number. Oh, there you go. Don't assume my residency. Thank you, Hey, for that. That clears it all up. Tara Michelle wants me to flush an entire case of expired Little Debbie snacks. Or stray cats. Everyone keeps saying cats. I'm not going to flush cats. I flushed a terabyte of MP3 files. Okay. Army men. Okay, Wolf of Tin. I'll flush army men down the toilet. An apartment. Hello, I'm a tenant here, and I'm having kind of a small problem with the toilet. Sure. Who is this? This is Roy. Oh, Roy, I'm sorry you have the wrong complex. What? Nuh-uh. Um, this is... This is
Green down at in the 1400 block of Road. Yeah, I know. It's the right apartment. I live here. Oh, Roy? Yep, that's me. I'm sorry. Which unit are you in? I'm in in um uh, 100. That's it. Uh, 100, um, 101. That's it. 101. You're Roy in 101. Yes. Unit 101. Yep. With Eugene. Ah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. That's my well, room. I know all the tenants really well, and so I, I didn't know a Roy. Yeah, it's my roommate, Eugene. Roommate slash grandpa. Oh, so your your name is Roy. Yep, that's me, Roy. And mm -hmm. we're just having like this issue with the toilet. Uh huh. Um. So, what about Alex? Are you related to Alex? Um, I don't even like to talk about Alex. To be honest, me and him don't get along, but I know who he is. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Well, we can sure work on your toilet, but have have Jean give me a call, okay? Okay, but I have to tell you what I did. What would you do? Um, do you know what Ethernet cable is? You know, like Internet cable, like a phone cord? Uh-huh. I flushed a phone cord down the toilet. Hmm, And every, every time I flush it, like here I hit the flush <laughs> thing... Like, it's not going down anymore. It just it just stays in the same position now. It stopped going down. Yeah. And I can't pull it back wow. out. That doesn't sound good. Which toilet are you in? Which which bathroom? The main one. The one with the shower. and I mean, the yeah, the one with the shower. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, um... And it's clogged up the toilet. Like, the water goes all over the floor. Like, when I hit the thing... Yep, all over the floor. Like it just overflows and goes on the floor. And you're still flushing it. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get it to go the rest of the way down. There's um, like 20... Yeah, don't, don't do that. There's 20, 20 feet left to go. I'll give... I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll be right down. But I'm, I'll, hold on, let me try. No, it still goes over the edge. It goes... Oh, man. Hey guys, um, there may be coins at the door. I'll be right back. She hung up. It was April the 41st, being a quadruple leap year. Okay, I am back. The coins are here, you guys. Should I open them? Or should I just do, do that later? I feel like I should go on, um... YouTube or Facebook. I can't do that though. My webcams suck. They they don't go into focus on the coins. There's no focus. Never mind. We'll, we'll do that later. Let's do a few more calls though. And then quit. I forgot what even happened in the last one. Oh yeah, I think it was like an old people's place. I could open them up right now and like just let you know whether or not they suck. Let you know if they're garbage this year or if they're amazing. I know they're going to look better than last year. Flush a blow-up doll. Okay. Dolltron. <laughs> Dragon Mirror wants me to stop all production until I get my coins. It's so weird that they showed up today because they were supposed to show up on Friday. They kept moving the, the date ahead because they were just getting here so quickly. It's the weirdest thing. Usually when you get packages, they're late. But not this time. They're like super early. It's weird. What the hell? Um, I've gotten my tracking number, by the way, for the lapel pins. That's the last thing that I'm going to receive. Um, and they're going to be here by at least Monday, maybe Saturday or Sunday if they deliver on Sundays. This is Ellen. Hey, Ellen. Um, I'm a tenant here. Okay. And I have a question about the toilet. Okay. Well, what's your apartment number first? Uh K72. Okay. What is your question? 
Um, I flushed. Um, I've been flushing ears of corn down the toilet, like raw ears of corn, just like straight off of corn stalks, and it's clogged up now. Are you? Are you serious? Yeah, it's for a YouTube channel. It's called uh, Will It Flush on YouTube. And um, I just, I flush like a different weird thing down the toilet every day. Like I've, I flush down on Tuesday, I did like an entire case of Little Debbie snacks. And usually things go down fine, you know, like sometimes it gets clogged up and I just plunge it out. But I guess ears of corn was kind of the breaking point. I would imagine so. Yeah. I did marbles one day. I did like gumballs. Um, fortune cookies, tadpoles. Once, like, okay. just, like, for comedy, I flushed my, um, my plumber's training manual. And that was fine. Like, it went right down. <laughs> okay. But, yeah, ears of corn. I'm not going to do that one again. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine not. Like every time I flush it, like there, there, I've got a bunch in the toilet right now. Like there, there's like seven of them. And like if I hit the flush, it, yeah, the water just goes all over the floor every time, all over the floor. So why would you keep flushing it? Because I'm, I'm trying to get them to go down. <laughs> yep, it's still not going down. <clears throat> Well, um, I would stop flushing it. But they're not going to go down otherwise. Um, I think that you na manually need to take them out of the toilet. Well, I, I don't think that it's that it's because they're in there on top. I think they got clogged up inside, like in the drain part, like underneath. You know? Uh-huh. So I'm just trying to figure out what I should do. I don't know, but um, the soonest we can have anybody look at it's Friday. Ah, shit. I think I'm going to run over to AutoZone and get some uh, lubricating grease type stuff and flush that down the toilet and see if that, you know, like just loosens it all up and helps it flush down. I did that when I was flushing um, the, those toy army men down the toilet. I just <clears throat> got some autos. Well, you, you do realize that because that is not what is supposed to be flushed down the toilet, that you are legally responsible for it. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, that's the point of the YouTube channel is that I flush things down the toilet that are, you know, normally wouldn't be flushed down the toilet. And that would make you in violation of your lease. Well, no, it's for a YouTube channel. It's... Like, usually it's not even a problem. I've been doing this for a long time, and... The YouTube it, channel is not on your lease. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it shouldn't even matter. So it's your responsibility. That's your opinion. <laughs> well, as apartment manager, um, my opinion is going to hold on this one, and I will have somebody look at it on Friday, but you will uh, be responsible for any, any damages done to the toilet or the plumbing okay. well, I'll probably have or it, anything else. I'll probably have it fixed by then. I, I don't believe you will for if you're putting lubri <laughs> lubricant down it and you're still flushing. No, it's like an oil-based grease. It, it'll, it'll, like, get everything to go down probably. Because right no, now it's just... not probably. Yeah, see, it just keeps overflowing, like, every time. Every time I flush, it just goes over. It overfills. It goes all over the floor. It gets out on the carpet. And then hallway. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm just, like, if you're not going to help, I'll just keep at it and try and get it to work, I guess. Well, what would you like me to do to help you today? I thought you could, I don't know, do you have, like, a, a plunger down there, like, that's better than mine? I do have a plunger here, mm -hmm. but... Um, or a wet-dry vac? 
I don't think you should try to put anything else down it, and I don't think you should try to get the items that you put in it to go down any further. I think you should take them out of the toilet, and if you've really and honestly put anything else like that down it, then it, we're going to need more than a plunger to take care of the issue. Well, this shouldn't even, like, it, it should work, because I, I flushed Canadian pennies down the toilet. <clears throat> and like this is over, ridiculous. Like over $300 of Canadian pennies. Those went down just fine. These are okay, just, first of all, I don't believe you. I have not believed you all along. But if you are honestly doing that, you are in direct violation of your lease. I don't know why you wouldn't believe me. Like, I would, like why would I even call about this if it wasn't true? Like, it would get me in trouble. Well, exactly. Why would you, why would you do this in the first place? Because it would get you in trouble. What's for my YouTube channel? It's called Will It Flush. I've got over um, 200,000 subscribers. Well, I hope they're willing to pay for the rest of your lease and to get you out of this because you're going to have a huge bill come Friday. I don't think so. Like, I'll, I'll get it to go down by then. I'm sure I'll figure something out, like with the grease, the AutoZone grease or whatever. But I, ma'am? Oh, I thought yes. you hung up. That was weird. Like, did someone pick up the extension to listen? No, nobody picked up the extension oh, to listen. Sorry, I'm just paranoid. It's the weed. But on Sunday, I'm going to be flushing down 240 pounds of mercury. Okay. Um, I have a lot of work to do. Me too. So if you okay. do not have a serious oh. question, I'm going to let you go. Oh, just keeps going on the floor. Every so time I flush. Well, I hope you're cleaning it with towels because you'll have to pay for the floor in the apartment no, too. I'm not going to put toilet water on my towels. That's gross. I'm not an animal. <laughs> okay. This is a very funny joke, and I appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate you. you. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. Uh -huh. You're the best. I know. I, I can't see you evicting me. You're too awesome for that. <laughs> if you've really done all this, you will be evicted. No, you wouldn't do that. You're the nicest lady ever. You would never evict anyone. Yes, I would. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> okay, we shall see. All right, bye. So do I get to know who I'm actually talking to? I already told you. Got to go now. Bye. I I'm no, you I'm, didn't. I'm taken. I'm not interested. No, thank you. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Thank God I wasn't there in person. She probably would have just, like, you know, ripped my clothes off. Started going at it. So much sexual tension in that call. It's unbelievable. She's, like, undressing me with her eyes. That's what she was doing. I shouldn't have to take that. Sexual harassment is what that is. Like, if I ever got in trouble for that prank call, I would I would have a case against her. I would turn it right around on her. I've almost been at this for two hours, you guys. It's about time to quit. Two hours is just my excuse. Really, I just want to open up these coins and see if they're crap or not. I'm sure they're going to be awesome, though. Hey wants me to do 100 condoms filled with coffee grinds and bacon grease. I'm writing that one down. No, the three-hour flush-a-thons, the next show. I can't just do two of these shows and never do them again. i got to do a billion of these. Good afternoon, Orchards. Hi there. Uh, I am a tenant here, and I have a question. Okay. Um, I just, um, I've, I've flushed, um, I flushed, I run this YouTube channel called Will It Flush? And I, <laughs> okay. I just flush like a bunch of weird stuff down the toilet every day like action figures and marbles and Canadian pennies and tadpoles. I did snails. Like, did you get any complaints about the snails, by the way? Because I flushed over 6,000 snails down the toilet, and they keep coming out of our drain, like even still today. What unit is this? Uh, 224. Okay. Have it's you had any other tenants four. talk about the snails? No. Okay. That's good. It's just us, uh, I guess. But I'm not sure. Why are you flushing all this stuff down the toilet? Um, it's for my YouTube channel. It's called Will It Flush? And that's just the point of the channel. We flush like a different weird thing every day. Like, 
I, I flushed like um, 20 gallons of motor oil. But you do know that, is, are you the son of, um, I can't remember the lady's name. I'm Michelle? <laughs> yes, Michelle. Yeah, yeah, that's my, my mom, yep. That she could get in trouble if you guys back up the toilet? Oh, no, I, it's, well, until today it's never backed up, and I've been doing this for a really long time. Okay. Like my my channel has over two hundred thousand subscribers. Mhm. Mm but um. Yeah, like I, I did the action figures a few weeks ago, and those clogged it up. But I just plunged them out, and it was fine. But today, so I was, what is stuck now? Um, today I was trying to flush one hundred condoms filled with coffee grinds and baking grease. Okay. And it's like every time I flush the toilet, it's. <laughs> Yeah, it just overflows. Like, it keeps overflowing all over the floor. It gets out into the hall and the carpet. Every time I flush, every time I hit the lever. Okay. Yep, there it goes again. It's like, overflowing onto the floor. All over. Okay, so can you come in and fill out a maintenance work order? Hold on. Yep, all over the floor, like every time. Like, it won't go down at all now. Okay, do you want to stop flushing it so it doesn't flood the carpet? Well, I'm trying to get them to go down, because I've put, like, 30 of them down the toilet so far, and then I've got the bowl filled up, and I even took a few out of the bowl to help them go down. A few what like, in the bowl? Th th they're, they're condoms filled with coffee grinds and bacon grease. Okay. Like, and, and when I flush, yeah, it overflows. Like, it just, the water just comes straight up to the edge and goes over. And it gets all over the okay. floor, and it's coming out into the hall and getting on the carpet. And does Michelle know this? Uh, well, she knows I have the video. I mean, she knows I have the YouTube channel, and then I do this every day. But does she know about the overflowing? Um, well, I've overflowed it before, but this is the worst it's been so far. Because, like, every time I flush, it, it, yep, doing it again, it's just overflowing. Okay, so, um, is your mom at home? Oh, uh, no, she's working right now. Does that work? Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, can I ask how old you are? I'm 28. Okay, I just needed to make sure you were an adult. Yeah, yep. All right, I'm going to call maintenance and have them come over and look at it. Oh, no, it's okay. I don't need maintenance to come over. I was wondering if, like, maybe you had any, any advice or anything. Because I'm in the middle of filming. I'm doing a live stream right now. And, uh, you know, for my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And I've got to flush the rest of these. There's, there's uh, it, like, it, there's about another 58 condoms I have to, I have to flush down the toilet. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to get the rest to go down first. I don't think you want to do that because your mom can get in serious trouble for that. No, they're they're like they're um they're strong, so that it's like the baking grease isn't going to leak out. It's fine. It's for but you're already saying that the toilet is overflowing. Yeah, but I don't think the condoms are breaking. Like the baking grease and the coffee grinds, they're all trapped inside. All right, well, I'll have to have maintenance come by anyways oh, to make there sure. It goes. It's overflowing again. This keeps overflowing. Ma'am, hello? Yeah, I think it was I Regret Jumping. He had a good point. <laughs> oh, hello, ma'am? Ma'am? Oh, I thought she picked back up. Like, I keep saying the toilet's clogged, but you can hear it. <laughs> You can hear it not being clogged. Here it comes. Here it comes. See, sounds like a perfectly healthy flush. Oh well. Oh well. That was a fun two hours of annoying the crap out of a few apartment people and having the rest just not believe me and laugh along with me and say, oh, is this is a prank call. Good times. And I was trying to uh, fade it out 
you know, before it got to that point, like, you know, I noticed that. I regret jumping. That it sounded like a healthy flush. You know how it works. Anyway, that's the end of today's show. Thanks for listening, everyone. And thank you for all the ideas. Oh, look at this. Mick 4 BBS thinks he can do better than me. He's, he's sending me a clogged toilet sound effect. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh my god. Is that them plunging? That was a pretty gross looking uh, image for that. Thanks for that. Mick 4 BBS. Anyway, bye everyone. Thanks for listening. Hey, Brad. So it's Patricia. Hey, and I was Patricia. listening to the episode where you were telling landlords that you were flushing crazy things down the toilet. You don't say. And I was say. thinking, when I was younger, and my brother also was younger, my dad had an October Skies watch that he got from working on the set of a movie. Wait, he got what? I was talking. Let me go back. Also was younger. My dad had an October Skies watch that he got from working on the set of a movie, and my brother flushed it down the toilet as a kid. Holy I'm shit. I'm sure you can only imagine how pissed off my dad was, but oh well. I bet. Cactus cat. What did he get though? Like a, a watch? My dad had an October Skies watch that he got from working on the set of a movie. October's, October Skies, the movie, a watch. And her stupid little brother flushed it down the toilet. What an asshole. You know, I remember when I was a youngin, and our toilet seemed to be having problems, so my dad, um, you know, pulled it up off the floor, lugged it out into the driveway, and kept filling it up with the, the garden hose and flushing it in the driveway. And I thought that was amazing that you could flush a toilet out in the driveway. I wanted to use it. And he found one of my Hot Wheels in there, inside the toilet, like in the pipes, like wedged in there or something. It was one that I was really excited to see, but for some reason he wouldn't let me keep it. Probably because it was caked in shit. So what I'm saying, Patricia, is if you still have that toilet, maybe you should take it out in the driveway and reach your hand up in there. Do you have small hands? Can you reach your hand like into the toilet and, and try and get that out of there? Maybe you'll find that October Skies watch. Maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. This is your main event of the evening. Oh, Introducing shit. first. Weighing in 185 pounds, calling out of Roy, New Mexico, he is your reigning, defending, prank call champion of the world, Roy Jubel! Wow, that was pretty great. I think I need to make that like an intro thing. You should send me an MP3 of that, because I'm too lazy to do it myself right now, even though I have it right in front of me. Yeah, hobo, I'll keep my fucking phone right the fuck up and I'll keep it under a fucking minute. Call my fucking mother at her fucking job one more goddamn time and watch what the fuck happens to your bitch ass by the end of the fucking night. Try me, motherfuckers. Keep fucking playing games. Watch. You're gonna see today. <laughs> okay. Somebody's been making prank calls with my phone number, apparently. Thanks for that. Lady's probably gonna show up at my house. Hey, Brad. In Hobo Sode 98, you mentioned... Power 7 being an inside job because jet fuel doesn't get hot enough to melt steel beams. Yeah. Well, that's true. Jet fuel does get hot enough to make steel beams bendable, and that messes up their structural I integrity don't care. enough I was to kidding. demolish a building. I was kidding. Just letting you, letting you know. This is a courtesy call from National Pen Company regarding your account with us. Uh oh. Please return our call at 866-388-9850 for additional information. Or visit us online at www.pens.com slash payments. Thank you and have a great day. I'm behind on my payments, you guys, for my pins. Remember those pins I ordered that say phone losers on them? The happiest place in Roy, New Mexico. I think that's what they say. Or wait, no, they say quit calling me a hobo. I was going to throw those in with a few of the coin packages because I still have a ton of them left. But I owe them a hundred bucks. I should probably pay them soon. Don't you just love it when your favorite YouTuber is always asking for money on Patreon? My yeah, favorite those part fuckers. is when they ask me. All right, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment, and don't forget to support me on Patreon. Five dollars, you know, is the main prize. Blah blah blah. And I'm thinking to myself, I shit. He's asking me for five dollars. What does he need one dollar for? Ah, I don't know.
I think I'm being made fun of there, but maybe not. If so, I don't appreciate it. What's up, Brad? It's Luke. Hey, Luke. I'm your English fanboy. Okay. Been a fan for a while. Just wanted to let you know. I don't know, really. I worked out how to call you using Google. Whoa. So I guess you can hear me more now. You're a genius. Because I'm in the UK. Did I mention I'm English? Yeah, I think yeah. you brought that up. I can send you some crumpets in the mail. Okay. Do you have a P.O. Box? Are you reading? Do you like crumpets? Yeah, they're the best. I'll be back. Bye. That was weird. Hey, Roy. Hey. Jack from Alaska. Hey, I just had an idea, bud. Um, what if you call homeowners and say that you're going to be building a recycle rendering plant at uh, the entrance of their neighborhood to, you know, help out with the cost or whatever for the homeowner dues. Mm -hmm. And just, uh, you know, you needed to call and warn them that there's going to be lots of uh, tweakers and hobos and stuff, you know, scavenging and bringing metal in for, you know, money. And, they should be in their whatnot, backyard. And whatnot, and they're uh, rendering used oil from restaurants to uh, make into oil for, or whatever gas for cars and it puts out a horrible stench so like every Wednesday the stench is just going to be overwhelming so they might want to stay indoors and uh, they might want to lock their doors and stuff for all the tweakers and hobos that are going to be bringing uh, yeah. you know metal and whatever various scavenging Damn items they tweakers. can find to uh, trade for cash at the new neighborhood uh, that going to be just a thought might be funny let's do it have a good day i'll try to someday not forget that and and do that idea hey it's your favorite boy from 512 hey i just want to tell everyone if you're not a subscriber he's you not calling from 512 everyone please subscribe on patreon because five dollars gets you a lot boy let me tell you is this that same yeah, person listen to these fucking hobo shows yeah live hobo shows, shows everyone and all the goodies that's right Fuck boy away. Hey, Roy. It's Mike from the Bronx. Oh, hey. my God. Residents need to be educated about the inner workings of the lift station <laughs> and how feces are normally crushed up. That's right. Is it like a garbage disposal? You should have seen... You know, I'd never even heard of a lift station. I was Googling it while I was talking to her. And it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Maybe it's just required. Like, if you're a business, you have to have a lift station. But, yeah, it's basically a garbage disposal for poop and whatever else goes down the toilet. It chops it all up and then sends it into the city lines. But homes don't have them, so why do apartments have them? You should have asked if, very she confused. Was, if she ever was in the lift station and what the lift station was like inside. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's yeah. funny. Thank you. It's weird. Also... A little uh, tip, you should say like, okay. you know, when when Just you the flood tip. the floor of the bathroom, you should tell these people, hey, if the floor was grouted the right way, like with epoxy grout or with the correct kind of sanded grout, then we, you know, we wouldn't have this leak problem. But That's you right. guys didn't grout the floor properly, and so therefore it's leaking. I don't know. Just a thought. Anyway, I hate your thanks idea. for making us all laugh. Bye, honey You're baby. Welcome. Yeah, have you guys heard of a lift station? I've never heard of a lift station. You'd think that'd be the city's job to grind up your poop. Maybe they give you a discount if you do it yourself. Maybe your taxes are lower or something. Oh, and listen to this. So when I was researching what the hell a lift station was, I ended up finding some forums for landlords, you know, where landlords just get together and, and talk about things that they have to deal with and ask for advice and give suggestions and all that stuff. And holy shit, landlords were talking so much shit about their tenants. You know how they always just have that attitude? They're like that in the forums, too. They act like tenants are just a bunch of animals. They're fucking idiots. One of the landlords was responding to something, and he's like, It's never the tenant's fault, LOL. And I learned that a garbage disposal is a landlord's worst enemy, because tenants think they can just put everything down it. And I guess that's why a lot of rentals don't seem to have garbage disposals. I don't think I've ever had a garbage disposal at a rental, but I put one in myself once. Teehee. I'm one of those tenants. If you want a few laughs, though, go find some landlord forums and just read the posts and read about how hateful they are about their tenants. They all have war stories about tenants. Hey, um, you hey. should get a uh, sound effect of... You, like a sound effect of someone walking in water, like right by like their legs, so it's like swishing in water, 
Yeah. Maybe like the splashing water. So I just want to know one of your pranks where you said you put converted the apartment into a pool and you had the dripping sound effects and you're like, I wonder why no one hears the dripping sound effects. And I wonder that too, but you should do something like you're walking across the room and it's like, Shh. <laughs> all right. Uh, bye. I should just, uh, you know, take that sound effect that you just made and use that as me walking across the room through the water. Yeah, I should have more sound effects than just the toilet flushing. I've got a separate soundboard here on my soundboard tablet that's called Underground Caves, and I do have, like, water dripping sounds, and I have rain on water. And if I leave them playing long enough, they actually set off YouTube's copyright alarms. It's really annoying. But yeah, I have a giant directory full of sound effects that, you know, involve water. So why am I not doing that? I need to do that. You're right. I will do that soon for the toilet pranks and stuff. Damn you, Brad. You left such a good cliffhanger for that podcast you're on. I gotta go listen to that. Figure out what RBCP stands for, even though I'm pretty sure it was... Okay, my guess was it was Brad Carter. <laughs> And then it just, his voicemail just ends for some reason. He was so excited about that cliffhanger. Dang it, Roy. Back in my day, we got a prank call. We just whooped their ass. Dang old thing, man. Just talking about brain on there. Talking about hernies. Cactus, cactus. Thanks for the voicemail, Hank. Bruh. Big noise. Um, so, the hey. um, distorted view. Tim was talking about, like, Patreon things he wanted to start doing yeah. content-wise. I heard that. He mentioned to me. And then a voicemailer guy cut him off. And a lot of people were saying that he should do prank calls. And he kind of, like, got around to doing that. He's like, yeah, prank calls. I've been listening to a lot of Distorted View lately. I'm back to liking Distorted View again. I've been listening a lot. I could probably team up with Brad and do that. And I think that would be a really, really cool idea. You guys should talk or whatever and do some prank calls. That would be awesome. Uh, You know what? I emailed him last. So it's his fault. I'm waiting for a response from him. I put that idea out a few months ago, and both of you didn't take me seriously. But I do think you should team up and do some cool stuff. Yeah, that is all. Bye, Brad. I want to get Tim on this new call-in show thing that I'm doing. I think if I can get him on that show, then after that I can sucker him into doing prank calls. That's the new plan. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, Brad. It's Corbin. How you doing? Hey, um, Corbin. Hey, hey, doing pretty good. Doing yeah, putting yeah. out some good I'm shows. Doing good a too. Question for How are you, you doing? Are you going to be doing any uh, Yelp uh, check-ins or uh, Foursquare check-in calls in the near future? I should. Or hey, I had an idea. Maybe make okay. a homework assignment for the listeners out there. Uh, we can uh, go out and uh, apply for jobs and put down your phone number. So when they when they call back to uh, to set up interviews and stuff you can say wacky awful things to them okay um anyhow uh, that's about it sorry my attention span isn't that good today so it's i'm okay. gonna hang up goodbye we're used to it and sure why not do that everyone or put me down as a reference check for like a real job that you're really trying to get i'll give you a really good reference check if anyone wants to do that, use the prank line phone number. That's 508-784-6969. Hi, Brad. It's Max Power. So mm-hmm. I was just looking at the Patreon and noticed that you were about $200 away from reaching your $3,000 goal. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of curious. So what's going to happen when you reach $3,000? Are Nothing. you going to do three weeks a month of PLA nonstop? What are you talking what, about? What's gonna happen? All I do anymore is PLA. Mm-hmm. If you have any other plans, we'd like to know. Anyways, I just want to go ahead and uh, just ask that question. Anyways, uh, okay. take care. Act to check this. Yeah, I wrote those goals like, I don't know, a year or two ago, where like at $2,000 a month, I would be dedicating two weeks of my life to putting out shows. But I kind of started early. I quit my other job, and I do this full time now. And pretty much all I do is shows now. So basically nothing's going to change. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. My Patreon is a big old lie. Hey, Brad, it's H. Uh, I was listening to your 2013 Prankathon, 24-hour Prankathon episode of you and Stacy, I think, or someone, and the yeah. background music was like, sounded like a Tom and Jerry episode or some kind of, I think, yeah, I think there's a Tom and Jerry episode. Yeah, I, think I remember where, trying uh, that. I still have that in my background music loops directory thing. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but it just didn't have the effect that I was hoping for. Because I was thinking, you know, our, our prank calls are so cartoonish. What if I just had that, you know, weird, old-timey cartoon orchestra music playing in the background the whole time? It would make them seem even more cartoony. Did Jerry hit but, Tom with a big hunk of ham or something? But yeah, uh, yeah, it's kind of a cool background. I'd put that in some more shows. 
little Tom and Jerry I didn't running like around, it. hitting stuff. I don't know. Yeah. That was funny. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Hey, RB. I'm just wondering, why is it so, why are you guys so against calling people from your own state? I mean, are you calling on like, the internet anyways? Like, what's the difference between your state and another state? What, another state even worse? Cracking up, cracking state line? Or oh, I guess that's more case. Yeah. You sound like crap. It's hard to understand you, but you're asking why we don't want to call from the same state. I don't know. Calling from the same state's probably okay, but it just has to do with the rules of prank calling, which is located at phonelosers.com slash rules, where you just shouldn't call from your own area. Because let's say I started prank calling people here in Albany, Oregon, where I live, and that's all I did on my show. I just called people here in Albany because I wanted to avoid the long distance charges because that's still a thing in 2018. Guess what would happen? The Albany police would keep showing up at my door and saying, Hey, everybody in town is complaining about you. We're going to arrest you now. But if I'm calling Wawa's in New Jersey, the worst that can happen is the police might call me up and say, Hey, cut it out. Don't do this anymore. They don't want you to. And I'm like, okay, sorry. Won't happen again. So it just seems like a good idea not to call in the same state. Maybe states don't matter, but I just try to stay away from Oregon. I call stuff in Oregon every once in a while. But I don't normally do stuff like that. It seems like a bad idea. Hi, Brad. It's Olga. Hey, Olga. King Richard and I just grew a clone of you with a DNA sample you left in his car, okay. and we have a joke for you. I didn't think you guys noticed when I was in the back seat. Okay, Brad. When I was leaving my DNA, DNA. How are dogs like phones? I give up. How are dogs like phones? They both have caller ID. Okay. okay. That's pretty Bye. great. Bye. Get it, you guys? Caller ID. Caller ID. Get it? Hey, listen, um, I heard it today on the show on um, and Friday and then Tramp on the Alpha Dope Station. But listen, here, I got out of New York. We got a problem here, okay? We got a chronic pooper in New York. That's right. Somebody's out there pooping every day. And we at the Anti-Defecation League, we don't support this kind of pooping. You know, we want everybody to be jammed up, you know, pissed off, angry, ready to go kill somebody, take some more pharmaceuticals. So we at the Anti-Defecation League are insisting that people find this chronic pooper in New York. Help us out here. Come on, everybody. Call. You see something? Let's call something, okay? Call us up here and tell us about this chronic pooper. Because nobody should be pooping every day. Okay. Okay, your 30 seconds is up. Thanks for leaving a voicemail. It was pretty great. Hope you find the chronic pooper. Sounds like a real problem there in New York. That's the end of today's show, everybody. Thank you, Six Week Tenure, for sponsoring the show today. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to support the show at patreon.com slash phone losers. Just like that guy in the voicemail said, you know, $5 get you something, $1, whatever he was saying. But you do get secret shows and stuff. It's totally worth it. I'm ending today's show with a song by MC Lars. This is the song that may or may not be the official intro song for the new call-in show that may or may not be named the Phone Losers of America that me and Gia did yesterday. This one is called PLA All Day by MC Lars. Everyone be sure to visit mclars.com. Hello? Hi, this is at t Mildred Monday is at a pay phone and wishes to make a call and bill it to your number. Is that all right? Mildred Monday, I'm Mildred Monday. No, you're not. Mildred's at the pay phone. Good afternoon, McMurray Park Apartments. This is Trace. How can I help you? Hello, um, I have a, I'm a tenant here. I just have a kind of a problem. Okay. Like, we, we turned our living room into a, a swimming pool. You know, we put plastic up on the walls and the floor and filled the whole thing up with water. Okay. And um, it was working good for a few weeks, but then... Um, it kind of sprung a leak over by where the oven is. So what actually did break? PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, losers. PLA all day. Phone PLA, 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 PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. There's a YouTube channel that I watch religiously. From losers of America, they post prodigiously. No kidding, hacking, hidden cameras, making hella calls. Social engineering, Brad is catching pokeballs in the backseat of your car and he's so very sorry he was searching for the store like so, so we scratched up your ferrari left a number on the dash so you called him up so fast just to have a little chat but he's sorry don't get mad cactus cactus the house is not a pool and if you buy an ipad on the street that's, that's not too cool and if you work at pizza hut he's got you on the camera tell them you're from corporate and you're in there just like santa 
a shopping spree. People get deceived, dude. Switching off the power, people will believe you. A blockbuster red box, we just put it in. Our BCP for the win once again. PLA, PLA all day. 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 PLA. PLA all day, PLA, PLA all day, PLA, PLA all day. They'll call you up at 1 a.m. It's on like, sorry guys, we just destroyed your lawn and can you trim your trees? And yes, I have your mail. Undercutting neighbors trying to have a yard sale. Plus, Mildred Monday, rest in peace. Calling up her next akin with jokes on Christmas Eve. And if you're acting racist on the phone, you'll be busted. Checking into Foursquare, Twitter can't be trusted. Rolling up to Walmart, picking up the phone. Pound 9801, you might get a dial tone. Pound 9802, line two, you're connected. You want house on DVD? His response is unexpected. Hey. I just wanna say thanks for YouTube's best, most creative phone pranks. In the scary time when the world is stressed and sad, thank God we got phone losers and thank God we still got Brad. Hey, PLA, PLA all day. 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 Hello, who are you holding for? Uh, electronic. Oh, that, that would be me. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys had, uh, Mark and Mindy, uh, that's on a DVD. Mark and Mindy? Yeah, Mark and Mindy. What, 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 like, what do you do? What are you, are you, like, stuck in the past? Come on, watch something new. Watch the program. Okay, why do you continue to keep flushing the toilet? <laughs>